Welcome to DXP Diecast Racing. I was recently asked if I could show my way of making stock cars, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, any of them, quicker. And I said, yeah, I'd be happy to. So let's, let me show you how DXP, me, does this. Let's have a little experiment here. Graphite makes cars faster. And if you're dealing with stocks, one of the only things you can do to a stock is actually apply graphite, and it's considered legal in most cases. There are a few exceptions where there are some races that say no lube whatsoever. But in our case, we're going to be dealing with graphite because basically that is what the... Uh, Industry standard, I guess, would be. Some people choose to use liquid lubes. Um, I do not. Uh, uh, most tracks that I know of will not allow liquid lubes. Some cases they will. But graphite has always been the one, and I, it is the industry standard. And you can even go to the uh, Pinewood Derby type cars, and, and their experience has always said graphite is the way to make things faster. So graphite is just a dry powder. Uh, it comes in many forms, and we'll get into that here in a minute. But for our sake here, for our test, this has been done. This is not a DXP original. I've seen this done on Red Pill, uh, Scale Racing Channel. Um, Your Nightmare Racing has done some tests with this. There, there's plenty of others out there. So this is not a, a DXP, hey, this is the, what we're going to, you know, to make a test or anything. this I've seen this done. Uh, Diecast 64 has done this. But let's try it and see what happens. we got two cars here. The Ford Sierra Cosworth. This just came out this year. Got two of them. Identical cars still in the package. All right. So let's open these cars up. Let's weigh them. Let's run them on the track. Find out which one is the faster between the two. Take the slower one. Graphite it then rerun them and see what kind of times we get, all right? So here, you have to bear with me a second because I'm trying to open these cars with one hand, all right? Let's see if I can get into this with one hand, possibly, 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 possibly. All right, we got the first one out right there. Second one. Let's see, I have to use both hands on this one. second one out all right so we got two identical cars both the 87 ford sierra cosworth all right got it both the same car now let's open this up turn on our little scale zeroed out we'll take the first car we will weigh it 36.49 Set him right here. Take the other one. Weigh it. This one's a little bit lighter. 35.79. So we got a little bit of variation between these two cars, but they are the same car. All right, so let's do this. Let's put them up here on our track. Put this one over here, this one over here. And let's see which one of these two are the fastest. Got a 2322 two, two, and a 2328, two, so they're both pretty close. All right? Both are pretty close. So I'm going to swap them up and put these in the other lane. All right? So the fastest one was in lane two, it is now in lane one. Barely underneath this other one. Let's run them. Still running a little bit faster, 2305 to a 2322. So it looks like this one right here may be just a hair faster. So let's swap them up again, all right? Remember, this one goes in this lane. He has won the first two races. He will go in lane two. This one will go over here in lane one. 
Ready? Go. And he wins again. So he's just a hair faster than this guy, okay? So I haven't changed anything. There are the two cars right here. So let's do this, all right? We are gonna mark this car. This is the faster car. I'll take him over here, put him over here. Because he's black, got a black bottom, I got a yellow paint marker. I'm gonna put a dot. It'll work. Yeah, of course, it paint mark. You can barely see it. There it is. Got a yellow dot right there, okay? There's our yellow dot. All right. Just for reference sake, the yellow dot car. Looks like it might have been the heavier car. Okay. No, it was the lighter car. Lighter car. All right, so we've got this one marked, all right? Our other car, this one right here. This is the one that we're gonna work on, okay? This one right here. It indeed is the heavier car, so the slower car is actually faster than the heavier car, okay? All right, I'll put him right here, all right? This car. This is the faster car. Let's get some times on him and record a few times, okay? Put him over here in lane one. Faster car. Goes down the track, we'll hit it. 2304. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this number right here. 2304, all right? Let's run him in the other lane. That was in lane one. Put him over here in lane two. Start him again. Make it go. Two, three, one, six. So we will write two, three, one, six. All right. So these running right in this area somewhere, okay? That's our test car. Still got the yellow dot. I'll sit him right here. Now, he will stay unworked. We're not gonna work his wheels at all. This one, however, we are going to graphite. We're gonna put a little dust on him and see if he will actually speed up and surpass the one that was faster. All right, he's just a hair slower. Graphite, a lot of different tests on graphite. This is one example of graphite right here. You can get this at O'Reilly's. Uh, I believe that's where I got this. You can also get this in some of your uh, Lowe's and places like that. Extra fine, dry, graphite, lubrication. This stuff is horrible. Do not buy this that you can get in the hardware store, okay? This particular kind right here, uh, don't know what brand it is, but it's not worth it, okay? It's really dry here. I'm gonna put a little bit of this out so you can see it, okay? All graphite is not made equal. See how dark that is? Really dark powder. Put the lid back on before I get it everywhere. Graphite is messy. Very, very messy. Yeah, let me use that. Got a little brush up here so you can see it. Oh, it kind of went off anyway, but here it is. It's all over. Really dark, really messy. All right. That is not good graphite for a car, okay? What you wanna use for graphite for a car, here's an example. You can get this at Hobby Lobby. Powder graphite lube, it is uh, made for the Pinewood Derbies. It's not very expensive. This stuff right here, it works good. You can get this stuff right here. This, I got at Michael's. 
This is also a good one right here. Uh, these are the kind of graphite you need. Remember, you do not need this stuff from the auto stores and from the hardware stores. Not good. Don't buy it, okay? Save you a lot of grief. That stuff, it's too powdery. It will clog up your wheels. It's no count. This stuff right here will work fine. This stuff right here will work fine too, okay? So, what do I use? I use a mixture. I've got a, uh, a, a blend that I use. I have got some blended up in this little tube. You can get these little containers really cheap. I've got some blended in here, uh, mixed together of different kinds of graphite that I use. I also have this. Graphite is really messy, okay? Really, really messy. I've got a box. You see I got a little spillage around here. And I've got some inside of this container right here, okay? Open it up without spilling it. See the difference between that black graphite and this? Completely different stuff right here, okay? Completely different stuff. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit bolder, and it works a lot better. You can apply graphite in a couple of different ways. It's going to be kind of hard because I'm going to have to hold this. All right? You can see I got it all over my hand already. You can use the little tube here. Let me see if I can, <clears throat> see if I can put this somewhere so maybe we can get a better better shot of what I'm doing here. Let me see here. Let me put this right here. Fold out the legs. All right. There you go. You can take the tube right here. See the car? And you can squeeze a little graphite out right back here in the wheel. All right, you don't have to coat the entire wheel. See, I just got a little bit in there. I'll put some up here on the front. See this, I got it just a, just a little bit. Oh, you can't even see it right there. Just a little bit, okay? Now, what I like to do is I take this paintbrush, if I can grab a hold of it, it's so slick, and you work that in there. The only way to get that down in there, you want that graphite that's up here on top to get down on that axle, all right, where the wheel goes. So what you have to do I'm sorry if I'm getting out of out of the frame here. You gotta work it like this. I'm holding that, that bottom one. See my fingers down here? I'm holding it. I'm working that thing up and down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Getting that graphite to go all down through the length of that wheel. All right, I'm working it. Over here, go to the front. I'm gonna work it a little bit. Get it to go down. Trying to get it down inside that little hole. And that stop. And again, I'm holding that other tire to kind of give it more up and down motion, okay? If you don't hold that tire, sometimes you won't get that motion. But you need that motion to get it to go down in that hole, okay? That's one method. I use these little paint brushes. They're cheap. You can get them anywhere, watercolor brushes. And I'll actually take some of that and get it on the end. So you can get it on the end of the brush. I'm going to put this over here. And I'll put it on the wheel. On the wheel. So you can either use that little tube or you can do it just like this. And I'll work that stuff in there, okay? You want it to work in there. Now doing it this way, you're going to have a little bit extra. It's probably going to get on the car a little bit. So if you want to try to keep it pristine, I would suggest using the little bottle with the uh, thin nozzle. But you're going to work that in there. You want that wheel to bounce it up in there. You want it to get down on that hub and in that axle and inside that wheel, okay? 
That's what you're trying to do. You want it down in there as much as possible. Now, how much do I work it? It depends. Older cars, I tend to work a little bit more than the newer cars. Uh, if I feel like I can get a little bit more speed out of it, I will try to do it uh, maybe once or twice. Let's see. I've got this side right here. All right, it's, it's down in there. It's done semi-decent. Okay? Shake all the extra out. Now, you want to spin that wheel, okay? Spin that wheel. Get that graphite going all around there. You'll see a few flakes flying. That's fine. That's what you want. See, look at that back wheel. You want it to spin, okay? Now, I got a little extra on here. All right. Now, let's turn it over. I'm going to use this method again just because I got it right here. I got some on the brush, putting it on the wheel. On the brush, on the wheel. You see that? It's down there. Hold it back over the thing because this stuff will go everywhere and it'll get all over. And you shake that wheel. Look, I got my pinky down here on this tire. Shaking that wheel, getting it in there, okay? I am getting it in there, getting it in there. I want it to go down inside that hub on the back side of that head, okay? Same thing over here on the back. I want it to go down, go down, get it in there. All right, a lot of people have different methods. This is just a quick method I'm showing you. There's a lot of other things you can do to really, really work these tires and get them in there. But I'm showing you kind of a quick method since this is on video. All right, I don't want to take up your whole day on this. But anyway, you work that graphite down inside them tires. Let it go, let it go. It's not all going to get in there. You're still going to have some up here on top on both. But you're trying to get as much as you can to fall down in there, all right? You know, work it, work it, work it. Shake off the rest. We're going to spin them tires, okay? Look at them things. Look at them go now. All right? I got a little extra graphite. I can always do it off with a brush. Luckily, this is a black car. It's not going to show up too much. A white car doing it like this, you will get some black streaks. Uh, you'll have to get some cleaner somehow to get that off. I don't really worry with it a whole lot. Uh, something else you can do, you can take some of this graphite, like I got on the end, stick it in between the wheel and the base, right in there. See that? Stick it right in here. Put some of that in there. And I'll do it in the back too, okay? Just put a little bit of graphite in there. All you want to try to do is make it slick. This graphite's real slick, all right? Once you get it in there, look, you can shake it a little bit. Shake it a little bit, get it in there. A lot of times what you want to do is you want to take it, rub it, grind it in there, all right? Grind that graphite up in there. You want it slick as can be, all right? All right, shake it out. And let's do this other side too since we did that. All right? May not be able to see because of my arm. Put that graphite right in there. Put that graphite right up in that chassis. All right. Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. Rub it, rub it, shake all the rest of that out. All right. You will get a mess on your hands. I don't know if you can see my hand right there. See that other, that other dark powder from that other one. That other up here. All right. This is kind of the quick five second method I'm just showing you all right you can also I'm gonna use this as a pointer a lot of times when you put this stuff right up here you may want to bring that wheel up all right it's not always about bringing the wheel down Let's see if I can do it over here bringing the wheel up you see how that wheel will go up and that little head in there that little head that keeps the wheel on the axle, you can put that graphite right in there and rub it real good up in there like this, okay? Rub it real good up in there like that, all right? I know that may be kind of hard to see. All right? 
But that right there will make your car a lot faster. All right? Now, pick this back up. This one is roughly dusted, okay? Roughly dusted. You can still see I got a little bit of graphite. I didn't manage to wipe a lot of it off. So I got this one right here. It's got graphite on it. Here's our test car with the yellow, okay? No graphite. It may have picked up just a few flakes from the track, but anyway. Here's the yellow. Let's go up here right now. Our yellow is in number one. That's our test car, all right? The one with graphite. This one right here did not win, okay? It could not beat those scores or that time. We'll put them in track two. Now, let's run them and see if that graphite made a difference. Ready, set, go. Whoa, look at that. Look who just won. 2283. All right. Let's put that time over here. Look, that time right there is a 230. See, look, it ran a 2310. Ours with graphite just ran a 2283. All right. Let's swap them up. All right. Definitely faster. We'll take this one. Has no yellow dot. Put it in lane one. Our test car with the yellow dot. In lane two. All right. Ready, set, go. A lot quicker out the gate. Look at that. 2295 to 2327. So we got a 2327. And a two, two, nine, five. Once again, once again, car with the graphite one. Picked up speed. Let's swap them again. A lot of times when you are racing these cars and you put graphite in these cars and on them, you want to run them a couple of times down the track. What that does is it gets that graphite, that powder, it does not get built up in there, so it doesn't have as much friction. You don't want it to lock up the wheels in any case. This this junk right here will lock the wheels. You, you don't want to use this, okay? Just don't use this stuff. Get a good a good graphite and work it, okay? And, and there's other brands. This is not just the only brand, okay? There's other brands. So let's take this again. Let's try it again, okay? Our yellow car was just in lane two. Put the yellow car over in lane one. I'll put our test car or our, our graphite car over here in lane two. All right, you ready? Try it again. Does graphite make them faster? Ready, set, go. Close to race, but look at that. Still won. Now remember, we ran this thing and, and he was not winning. Now he's won every single time. He's not necessarily super fast. 2294 to a 2307. Let's, let's split them again. One more time, all right? We're gonna put the graphite car in lane one. The non-graphite car in lane two, all right? Ready, set, go. Look at there. Now that time the graphite car didn't win. He had to jump out the gate, but the yellow one won. So, does it always work? I guess not. But for the most part, it does. Two, two, nine, six. That's his best run that he's ran the entire time. This right here is a 2305. Oh, all right. 
What I would do in that case, if I knew that this car was outrunning this car, even with graphite, we saw he was definitely, definitely not faster without the graphite. But he just won three out of four, all right? That's the one without the graphite. I would probably take this one right here again and re-graphite him. Put some more in there because I did it real hurriedly. I didn't spend a lot of time uh, getting that in there because I just wanted to do this for a test. All right. Uh, a lot of these cars, after you've got them good and going and they're really, really going, a lot of times you need to redo it later on. Okay. Reapply some graphite. If you watch uh, Bo with your Nightmare Racing, uh, you'll see sometimes that he'll take his, he'll actually put his in a wash and uh, clean them and then re-graphite and then re-race them. If you think a car has potential, don't give up on it. Don't be so quick to give up on it, all right? Graphite it. If it runs what you want it to run, what you think it's capable of running, great. If it starts losing speed over time, and cars will, I mean, it's graphite. It's going to rub off because of the friction, okay? because of the constant contact between the metal and the plastic, okay? Or the metal and the metal, depending on what kind of car you have. Do them again, all right? Sometimes these cars won't take with the first application of graphite. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Sometimes it takes two, three, maybe even four times before it breaks in. And when it breaks in, boom, you've got something. Uh, a good example of that are the, uh, the Kenner Fast 111s. A lot of times you need to graphite those several times before they'll actually break in. The tanker truck I ran uh, a week or two ago, and it, the very first couple of runs, extremely fast. And then it slowed down and slowed down and slowed down. Same thing happened when I re-dusted it. First couple of runs, fast, and then it slowed down and slowed down and slowed down. It's going to happen. Some cars take graphite better than others. You may have a wobbly wheel on one of these cars. I don't know. I haven't tested it. had not seen. One wheel may be wobbling on this car, uh, not allowing it to pick up the amount of speed that it has or needs to have. Trust me, graphite works, okay? You just have to have a good graphite and apply it and work it. Work those wheels, okay? You've got to put those wheels. Make them go up and down. Get that graphite working in there, okay? So that wheel right there, even after the graphite, it doesn't look like it spins very well. That one spins better. I probably could redust this one right here again, and it would probably beat this one right here every time, all right? So those wheels don't spin very well at all. Not that the other one spins great, but these Ford Cosworths are not known to be extremely great wheels anyway. But anyway, that's a little sample of what I do. Uh, I do it a little bit more fully when I'm not on camera because I'm not trying to hold a camera. I'm not trying to film anything. Let's run them one more time just for the fun of it since I got you here. All right. I'll put the one with the graphite in lane two. He just lost in lane one. Yellow dot over here. Ready, set, go. One with the graphite, one that time. So look at the times. Last time was 2305 as a loss. 2306 was the slow one over here. 2293 over here. So see the graphite, it works, okay? A lot of people try to use some of that Teflon. I've never used the Teflon. Uh, some people say it works. Some people say it doesn't work. Listen, you're going to have to come up with your own uh, brand of graphite that you like. You're going to have to come up with your own mixture if you want to mix your own. You're going to have to come up with something that you can get a hold of. Sometimes it's hard to get a hold of graphite. Uh, I just had to order some of the graphite that I like because I can't find it in any of the stores anymore. Go to the hobby stores. The Pinewood Derby people, those are the guys that know they've been doing this for a lot longer than us running these Hot Wheels, okay? Like I said, use a good graphite, work it in those wheels, 
check out some of those other channels. Uh, check out Scale Racing Channel. I have to go back through the archives. Red Pill, uh, Bo with Your Nightmare Racing. Uh, let's see, who else? There's, there's several of them out there. Uh, I think uh, Vapor Racing, the Treetops Race Park, has got a video out for graphiting cars. Uh, there's just really some good information out there if you look. You'll have to dig through the archives and find them, but you can find them, all right? And get your cars going as fast as they can possibly get, okay? And don't remember, don't give up on them, okay? Don't use that. Whatever you do, don't use... Don't use that stuff. It's trash. Use good graphite, all right? Good luck racing, everybody. Uh, I hope this test helps some of you to see what in the world is going on with the graphite when you're working the wheels. Work them. Work them good. Make them go up and down. Get that graphite. Run them. You may have to run them on the track a few times to get them to work in good. All these cars you see up here, graphite. Every single one of them have got graphite on them some of them need to be redusted it takes time this is not a quick process okay you're going to get dirty watch where you're doing it at don't put it on mama's uh white tablecloth and do this okay don't get your wife's uh good stuff out and start graphite on it make sure you got it in a box make sure you've got it contained good and with a good lid so it doesn't go anywhere you may even want to put it in plastic okay I got kids running around. Sometimes I'm always afraid they're going to knock this over. It'll make a mess, okay? But good graphite. You can use it from the tube. You don't have to put it in something, okay? You can use it from the tube and just squeeze a little bit of it out, okay? They make those tubes really good, all right? Have fun with this, though. That's the main thing. Have fun with it. Try to get your cars faster. Work them a little bit. Some are going to get faster than others. Don't be disappointed. These right here... I graphite it, they're just not super fast, okay? Nothing compared to some of these over here, okay? A lot more weight going on over here, a lot better wheel spin on some of these cars. You can pick up a lot of speed. Good luck, everybody. God bless you. Um, continue supporting the channel. Thank you for watching. And uh, subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to subscribe, don't. I ain't, Hey, it's America, freedom of choice, okay? If you're from a different country and you're watching it it's your opportunity if you want to subscribe if you don't i don't it it doesn't matter okay i'm doing this because i enjoy it i hope i'm giving you some valuable information and you're enjoying the races hopefully we'll get some more races going on here shortly all right see y'all later y'all take care take care of your babies take care of your wives take care of your husbands whoever's out there watching love you mean it see you later